Jeff Marsacci here, and we are in the middle of traveling season. Uh, some people fly, but a lot of people just jump in the car and they get going. And it becomes very easy to eat the wrong way. Uh, today we have Lone Wen, and she is with us to talk a little bit about eating healthy while traveling. So, Lone, tell us what you do. Well, I am a uh, holistic doctor in Raleigh. Um, I have a practice inside the Beltline called Optimal, Optimal Wellness Chiropractic mm -hmm. Center. And we basically help people um, with their unresolved health issues, whether it's ACE pains, fatigue, um, thyroid issues. And we also try to maintain their health so that they could uh, live the life they want to live. Okay. Well, how does eating healthy play a role in all of this for your practice? Right. Um, that's actually the foundation of health. And when people come to me, whether it's ACE or pain, whether it's a structural issue, we we work on the structure, but we also talk about diet because that's the foundation. Um, you know, if you're eating the right foods, is actually anti-inflammatory, and that would actually lessen pain, increase energy, and, and can prevent um, diseases like cardiovascular issues, cancer, diabetes. So it's uh, critically important. Well, right. Why is it so important to eat healthy while being on a road trip? Well, first of all, it's gonna, definitely going to maintain your energy. It's going to allow you to stay more focused. There's greater concentration and mental acuity. But um, also, you don't want to get hangry. Hangry is being hungry, being, uh, being angry when you're hungry. Mm -hmm. So it's important to stabilize your blood sugar so that it doesn't drop and it affects um, you physically as well as mentally. Okay. Well, what are some healthy snacks that our clients could eat while they're taking these road trips? Sure, like I just came from a trip um, to, to visit my brother and we packed, so it's important to of course um, pa pack bottled water or spring water or we, we also had uh, coconut water, okay. um, but there's vegetables and hummus or bean dip and you can have a little cooler um, with you. There's uh, jer beef jerky or um, salmon jerkies, things like that. Um, I would recommend the ones at the the gas stations because it's filled with like, sugar and preservatives, mm -hmm. but um, you can get some from Paleo Jerky, which is pretty clean and, uh, and pretty healthy, but there's nuts, trail mix. Mm -hmm. I don't recommend the, the ones that are roasted in oil, like the vegetable oils, but more okay. raw almonds, pecans, walnuts with uh, coconut flakes, or you can actually make your own with um, raisins or even dried blueberries. So there's there's really tons of tons of options, and there's the you know the fruits that's convenient like um, nectarines and plums and even bananas or avocados. You can cut in half and just scoop it with a spoon because you know we had uh, our eight year old niece there, and so she was able to eat all of that. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is why is it important to kind of plan ahead for these trips? Right. Because if you, do, you don't plan ahead, you, you basically would um, choose what's convenient. And what's convenient would be um, at the rest stop, sh the, the vending machines, which has you know, a lot of junk food, uh, chips and candy bars. Um, and if you don't plan ahead, you could drive, what, you know, five, six hours and not be able to stop anywhere. And your blood sugar drops. That affects your driving, affects, again, you mentally and physically. Um, so I, I think it's super important to plan ahead, see what healthy restaurants are out there, plan ahead to pack. You know, if you know it's a six hour drive, you know you, you're gonna have to eat because your blood sugar is gonna drop. So definitely pack some of these healthy um, meal replacements or, or snacks. Very important question. What would you consider junk food? Junk food, yeah. I, it's the sug sugary stuff, the um, products that are high in lots of grains, the processed foods, the baked goods, you know, the cookies and chips, um, donuts, things like that. Okay. Well, I always hear it's important to stay hydrated. Right. Why is it important to stay hydrated on road trips? Yeah. Well, we're about 70% water, so we won't do well if we're dehydrated. Um, the majority of Americans are, are actually 75% dehydrated. And if wow. you're traveling, you know that that percentage is actually higher. Mm -hmm. And even 1% um, of dehydration can actually slow down your metabolism. Therefore, again, affecting mood, affecting energy, and, and affecting how you, how you feel. Um, so I recommend um, packing bottled water, 
you know, with you and drinking half of your body weight in ounces. So if you're 120 pounds, you want to drink about 60 ounces of water a day. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. You Once again, it's Lone Wen. Can you tell our clients, how can they get in touch with you? How can they reach you? Um, I'm in Raleigh. My, my website is Optimal Wellness of Raleigh. Um, you could Google me. It's uh, really easy. And, and my phone number is 919-791-0445. Uh, okay. Well, thank you very much. And travel safe and eat healthy.